News Channel 11 Sports with Michael Epps. Welcome back. Big day for Southwest Virginia. Two baseball teams left standing, both undefeated, playing in today's state championships, and both playing at home, which is a plus. We start in Class 3 with Abingdon taking on Independence Academy, which is moving up to Class 5 next year. Six D1 players on their team. And they jumped out to a big lead, doing all their damage in the early innings. As they hit one down the first base line, they'd get a double out of that. Six nothing lead after four frames. But pitcher Chase Hungate would settle in from there. He went all seven innings, racking up punch outs like this one here, keeping the game within reach. It took until the bottom of the seventh. But the Falcons finally got some runs across. Hungate, the VCU signee, seems to always come up with clutch hits late. Hits a rocket at the second baseman who makes an error, allowing two runs to score. J.I. Hayton and Jake Thacker. Falcons cut it to 6-2. to two. The crowd's pumped up, one down. Virginia Tech commit Ethan Gibson hits one the other way. He grounds out, still gets a run across, but now there are two outs. This Falcons season has been so special, but just ran out of magic at the end as this pop-up Ends the ball game. Independence Academy is legit and wins the state championship 6-3. to three. This Abingdon senior class goes out with two state championship game appearances and some awesome careers. It's just a great group of kids and I, I couldn't be more proud of them. And, uh, you know, going in, we knew the opponent we were facing today was talented. I, I didn't know they were that talented. It was... Uh, it's like playing a college team, really. But we, we had the uh, we had the go-ahead run at, at the plate in the bottom of the seventh, and to fight back like that, I, I just couldn't be more proud of our kids. And you know, just ball didn't bounce our way today, and uh, you know, we got beat by a better team. But just couldn't be more proud of our kids and and the effort that we gave today. To Class 2, undefeated Lebanon hosting Pecanson for the state title. Felt like all of Russell County was out there. Awesome atmosphere. But slow starts offensively for these teams. Pioneers trying to steal a base. Cannon Mortary certainly has a cannon of an arm. Throws him out at second. Great pop-up time, too. Pitcher Max Fritz was good early on. Gets the punch out here in the third with the game tied at one. Islanders freshman with a strong start. But it's tough for any kid in the state to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Matthew Buchanan. The Virginia signee gets back-to-back -back punch outs in the fourth. 14 Ks today. Gave up just one run. The only run he's allowed all year. And the Pioneer Bats know how to catch fire in a hurry. They did it in the region championship against Gate City. Again today as Zach Hertig gets a base knock. Gets a runner in scoring position too. A nine spot in the fifth inning. Gave the Pioneers a 10-1 lead and that would be the final score. Lebanon wins the Class 2 Baseball State Championship. 10-1 win over Pecanson. Buchanan throws a complete game, four hitter, 24-0 in his career. Very impressive for the future Cavalier.